Hi guys, today we're going to read the book, The Monster Club, Summer of the Singing Sirens. Let's get started. It was the first day of summer vacation. Sally was about to leave for music camp. She'd be gone for a week. Sally yawned and rubbed her eyes. What's wrong, Sally? You look exhausted, her mom said. I didn't sleep well, Sally said. I had a dream about a woman hidden in fog. She was singing a sad song. Well, try to get some rest on the bus to camp, her mom said. <laughs> on the bus, Sally sat next to Tom. Tom yawned. He could barely keep his eyes open. I had a strange dream about a singing woman, Tom mumbled. Sally's eyes opened wide. I had the same dream, she said. Sally then noticed Kenji sitting at the back of the bus. He had his headphones on. He looked gloomy. Hey, Kenji, what's wrong? Sally asked. I'm fine, he said. Sally had never seen him so sad. Sally looked around and saw several other kids who looked tired. Tom. I think the Monster Club might have another mission, Sally whispered. That's very strange. The bus arrived at camp. The sunshine and mountain air made Sally feel better. Soon she was wide awake and having fun. Tom played his guitar and Sally sang. She tried to get Kenji to join in, but he just listened to his headphones. That night, Sally sat next to Kenji at the campfire. She offered him a marshmallow. What's wrong? She asked him. This is supposed to be a music camp, but no one here likes the same music as me, he said. I'm a little bummed. You've, nev you've never let me listen to your music before, can I? Sally asked. She put on Kenji's headphones. The music had a good beat. It was very different from the usual music she liked. She listened to the music until Kenji took the headphones off her head. That night, Sally lay in her bed and thought about Kenji's music. It was different, but she liked it. Suddenly, she noticed several girls in the room stand. They were sleepwalking. Their eyes glowed and they were softly humming a tune. Sally knew the tune. It was the song from her dream. Her heart beat faster. She started to sweat. Like zombies, the girls slowly walked out of the cabin and into the forest. Sally chased after them. Outside, she bumped into the boys from the cabin next door. They were sleepwalking and humming too. Tom was with them. All the zombie-like kids walked into the dark forest. What's happening? Sally wondered. Oh, we'll have to find out the next page. Just then, Kenji ran up to Sally. He was scared and was out of breath. We have to go after them, Kenji said. It looks like they are under some sort of spell. Okay? It may be a good idea, but it's dangerous. Sally and Kenji followed the kids into the forest. The group stopped in a small, small clearing. Suddenly, three dark shapes spun in the air above them. Slowly, the shadowy figure transformed into three women with beautiful faces, red eyes, and wings on their back. Those are siren spirits, Kenji said. They lure people into traps with their beautiful voice. All three sirens were singing up the song that the kids were humming. <gasps> oh no! How do we break the spell? Sally asked. Kenji thought for a moment. He realized that only Sally and he had not fallen under the spell. It's my music, Kenji said. We are the only ones who listen to it. It must be stopping the spell. That's why we are not sleepwalking. Kenji ran into the middle of the clear. He ripped the headphones off his head and turned the dial up on his music player. He blared his favorite song as loud as he could. Will this help or will it... Won't? The three sirens shrieked. 
The music echoed off the trees. No, no, no! They screamed. The dark sirens turned back to wispy smoke and disappeared above the trees. Yes, it helped. The kids all woke up. They looked confused. Candy's music continued to play. What kind of music is that? A girl asked. It's called electronic music. Candy said. I really like it," said the girl, smiling. She ran to catch up with her friends. Maybe being, maybe being different is a good thing," Sally said to Kenji. "If we all liked the same kind of music, we all would have been trapped by the spell." Kenji nodded. "I'm just glad we were around to help," he said. "If we stick together, the Monster Club can beat any nasty monster." Just then, Tom walked up. What are we doing all the way out here? He asked. Kenji winked at Sally. Just listening to some really great music. Let's get back to bed. The three went back to their cabins, excited to find out what else the summer club, oh, the summer had in store for the monster club.